hey guys, it's Dan here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to use Grammarly to improve the grammar of your articles from an SEO standpoint. So the first thing you need to do here is actually just get the Grammarly for Chrome extension. Uh, it's really simple to get, it's just obviously on Chrome itself and uh, just makes the process a lot easier. The next thing you need to do once you've done that is actually find an article that you're looking to improve the grammar of. Now this might be a really old article that you've written, uh, you've written a while ago and you kind of want to change for SEO purposes. Or it might be a brand new one that you think, oh, I've made a few mistakes on there that I might need to tweak. Whatever it is, just grab the article and go from there. Uh, for this actual example, we're going to go for this one that we've written a while ago, which is making money online. Are you crushing it? So if I go down, as you, you can see here that I've, uh, you know, starts off with, um, so we greet the new year, blah, blah, blah. Currently in October, so that would suggest that it's about a 10-month-old article that uh, probably will need a few tweaks uh, being made to it. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the URL there, and we're going to go up to the Grammarly extension here in the corner. And what you're going to do then is press new document. Uh, so it's going to take you through then to the actual new document page. And this is exactly where you kind of do the work on the article. So what it'll say here is you actually have to uh, paste in the uh, article itself and the obviously the title of the article as well. So what I'm going to do is go back onto here. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. So basically where logically makes sense for the end of the article. Uh, in this sense, it's actually quite a big article. So I'm going to continue to go down until it fully loads. There we go. So that looks like the end there. So I'm going to grab all the content, uh, nice and simple, just literally copy it as I'm doing here. Might take a little bit of time. Almost there. There we go. So once you've got all the article itself, you're going to copy that. You're going to go back into your tab over here. I'm just going to move that a bit closer in actually to make it a bit easier for me. There we go. And you're just going to paste all that into there. So as you can see, the article has been pasted in from the start to the end, all perfect. And then finally, as I said earlier, you just need to add in the title as well. So the title will be up here. Nice and simple. So that process is then fully complete. So once you've done that, you've got all of your uh, article loaded in. So that's all great. And as you can see, it's popping up with uh, quite a few little uh, kind of notifications here, which is what the um, app Grammarly does. So on the right hand side, you can see these different tabs. You've got correctness, uh, you've got clarity, engagement, delivery, style guide, all that kind of stuff. And what that means is basically what it's suggesting that you may need to change or tweak uh, within the article uh, correlating to what it's saying. So the first thing here is correctness. So it says improve spelling, grammar, and punctuation. So this is probably going to be your most common errors because uh, by nature, we all kind of make um, correctness mistakes. A few people are very, very good with these type of things and don't make too many. But, you know, on average, most people do make some sort of grammar or spelling mistakes, punctuation mistakes throughout their articles as they're making them. So what this does is you can actually go through the article itself and find different things. So, for example, this here where it says and, it doesn't look too bad on the human eye thinking what's the issue. But the issue literally simply is you just need a comma in there. And that's just going to improve the grammar. Um, and obviously that's going to obviously improve your content score too, which is something I didn't mention. So as you can see here, you've got your overall uh, score, overall performance score. We're on an 83 at the minute for this article, which isn't too bad, uh, but it does mean that there is room for it to be improved. And as you go through doing these tweaks and making these changes, you'll see that kind of lift up as you do, which is really great. And then obviously you're just enhancing your uh, article then for SEO purposes. So again, let's go through, you know, you've got quite a few red ones here that we may need to sort out. So it's saying, um, you know, this bit obviously needs a, you know, let's with a little apostrophe there or let us. So we'll go with let's for that. Uh, and then B here, it's saying that there's no issue now with that, which is great. Uh, so this one here is is a, is a branded thing. So this brand is fat rank. Obviously, that's not a word. So it's saying, suggesting to change that to Frank, which is not what we want to do because that's not what the company's called. What we can do is capitalize the R and the F. Obviously, as it is a brand, it still doesn't really do anything, but it kind of looks a little bit better just from the human eye point of view. So that's not going to um, improve your actual score, but what it is going to do is just kind of uh, show to people that it is a brand and kind of give it that kind of uh, branded look. So the and here again is another one that we can tweak. Again, it's just a comma. So you can see here as I'm making these changes, as it's saying calculating up there in the corner, it's slowly getting better with the content score. Now it's an 84, so it was an 83. So uh, what I'm going to do quickly now is I'm going to change all these red things because there's quite a lot of them. And I'm going to come back to the video after that because otherwise, you know, gonna, you're going to be sat here seeing me just tweaking the same things. But a lot of these kind of red ones, as I've said, are kind of commas and little things, punctuation errors, little things like that that you can tweak. So I'm going to go through all them now and I'm going to come back with the content score after that. OK, guys, so that's actually done now. And as you can see, you know, just from literally just changing the, uh, you know, the correctness section, We've gone from an 83 to a 96 overall score, which is a ridiculous change. And uh, believe me, Google actually sees this. If you have a lot of kind of little errors in your in your actual article, it might actually change how you rank for certain keywords because you never know there might be a part of the article where, um, you know, you may be mentioning something. It doesn't kind of uh, make sense. So you may be making a mistake for the actual keyword you're actually applying in there. And uh, Google will see that as a mistake. They won't see it as the keyword you're trying to challenge for. And therefore, they're not really going to rank you for it. 
Um, and also just having an article that's uh, much better written that has, you know, a few things uh, tweaked on it. It just gives Google that kind of um, confidence to say, you know, this was well written. This was properly looked at and properly checked over. And uh, I think it just does help with your rankings as well from that perspective. So literally just some changes of those things. You can see we've gone through an 83 to a 96, which is a ridiculous change. And it uh, really didn't take me much time at all. It took me about five minutes and that's all done. You can see here that I do have 19 alerts remaining for correctness. Uh, with that, it's important to not take everything as gospel. So, for example, this this guy here who we're mentioning called Derek Yazwa, uh, that's actually his name. We're not going to obviously then change his name because it's uh, something that they don't recognize as a word. That's his name, so we're going to leave that. And various other things like, you know, $1 there, we're happy to leave that. Uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with kind of what we mentioned Guru there. And this section here where we say, you know, there is so much noise and, and bullshit in the, in, in the uh, internet marketing industry. We're not going to then change that to R, which is one of the suggested things when you click it. You can see it says, you know, move that to R. Wouldn't make sense to do that, so we're going to leave that one as well. So, again, there's a little bit of common sense that is needed for Grammarly and obviously when you're looking through. But by and large, a lot of the things that we'll say uh, could be doing with changing do need changing. So, again, we'll go to the clarity section here. We'll have a quick look at that. So if we go up, uh, we've got here, it says making seven figures being sat on a beach. So when we click on that, let's see what it suggests for us. Okay, so it's not suggesting anything in particular, but what we can do for this is we could just look at it and kind of make sense of it for ourselves. So it says making seven figures uh, being sat on the beach. We could change that maybe to making seven uh, figures just sat on the beach. And hopefully that will then move that over. There you go. So that's obviously got rid of that. So it's little things like that, tweaks that you can make where you kind of think, um, okay, so it's saying that isn't, you know, isn't how it probably should be looking. Let's see if we can and change that. And with the clarity section, I don't think it actually gives you, um, you know, explicit suggestions like what correctness would do. It's more kind of highlighting the fact that, you know, this bit might not be as clear as what you're making out. Can it be tweaked? Can it be changed to make it a bit clearer? For example, again, just underneath, uh, this fat rank website is generally built for motivating my team. Uh, you could say again with that that it's you know Maybe we try largely built see if that uh, helps things if not we could just go for it's just built So obviously yep still saying it's quite vague so we could literally go for something Saying uh, that's you know, that's what it's built for It's is built for so again. It's still saying it's it's too unclear So with that maybe we say you know, it made sense as it was we could we could say you know um, We could say generally again because it does make sense I mean to read that saying some a website is generally built for motivating my team makes perfect sense So again, we're gonna ignore that one and like I said, it's just it's kind of about having a look and thinking is that relevant for what I'm trying to say uh, is that is that kind of appropriate so here we have uh, they are not telling you about how many times so with that if we if we click on it see what it's kind of saying it's saying an unclear you know intent but I think with the content of what we're saying, we, you know, we know who we're talking about. Someone that's reading this article will know who they are by this point. Um, so we're going to leave that in there again. And like I said, it's just about tweaking the things that you feel need tweaking. So that's kind of the clarity section uh, covered. If I go to the engagement section, we'll have a look at that. Uh, so you can see here, it's highlighted here saying, um, takes dedication and his knowledge on cri cryptocurrency is great. That to me makes perfect sense. But what it's saying is you could change the vocab to excellent. Um, it would be a bit more specific and uh, improve the sharpness of your writing, it's saying. Which, to be honest, I quite like. I mean, I have no problem with doing that. And if it's saying that that will improve things, why not? It really doesn't make a difference to me whether it says great or excellent. So we'll change that for now. Again, moving down to some other examples. Uh, they've got fail before they finally made $1. If we click on that, it's saying it's a repeated word because we have how many times they fail before... So again, yeah, it's a repeated word. So instead of it saying how many times they fail before they finally made $1, you could say uh, how many times they fail before making, finally making $1 would work great. So if we got rid of that there and we change that to finally making, again, little tweaks. Um, so I'm not going to go through too many of these. You can understand kind of uh, what I'm doing here, but that's kind of real simple. And then finally, delivery. So it's slightly off. So again, we've actually got a mistake. We've got no one is gonna remember what car they drove. So we could literally just obviously change that to no one is going to remember what car they drove when you're gone. I actually disagree with that because I really like cars. So that whole sentence has really offended me. But yeah, no, like that's generally what I would change uh, for that one. So obviously just little kind of words that you may need to tweak. It doesn't look like we have too many more of them. We've got watch this video on the link, which talks about how many folks nowadays just feel... So again, just literally get rid of just doesn't need to be there. Nowadays feel they should be successful with that, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's generally just little tweaks here and there. And you can see from the calculating score now in a second, we should, yeah, 97 out of 100. So, I mean, you can't complain with that. I think if I was to continue to tweak this, I could maybe get it to closer to 100, maybe 98, 99. But realistically, going from 83 to 97 is a really nice jump. Google should notice that, should see it. And, you know, uh, just by doing this across your 
actual uh, articles throughout your website, or whether it's a new article or an old article, will really improve things for you, will really help you, and uh, it's really simple to do, as I said. So, obviously, once that's done, it simply is it's a simply a, a case of just kind of copy and pasting this, adding it back into your article, and then, uh, yeah, you kind of got a complete um, improved article then just from, you know, 10 minutes a tweak. So, that's basically that, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope this makes sense, and I'll see you guys later.